Well, that was nice. Yes, it was. I just love these wine tasting tours around Paso Robles. What was your favorite part of the tour, Neva? Hmm. My favorite part was tasting those Cabernets. I just love Cabernets. Mm. They make me feel all warm and fuzzy. How about you, Sandy? I love the Merlots. Mm. What did you like about it, Steve? Well, I liked everything. I'm a land man. <laughs> we like everything and everybody. <laughs> well, most of us do, except for that bent guy over at Accidental, but I, I think he's more of a technical type. The real question is, what did Bruce think about it? Well, the wine tasting was good, but I'm an engineer, so I really like seeing how they bottle it and how they make the stuff. That was really interesting. I should have known an engineer would like the process. Did you even taste any of the wines? Of course I did. I tasted it, but I didn't swallow. You didn't swallow? Why not? Oh, he read somewhere that you're not supposed to swallow when you're just tasting. What about you, Neva? Do you swallow? Sure I swallow. <laughs> I, I thought everybody did. <laughs> Steve, you told me it was okay to swallow. Well, I think it is. I'm a land man. But let's get back to Bruce. What did you think was so interesting about this particular wine tour? Well, did you notice that most of the wine had screw caps? <laughs> that was pretty interesting. I thought only the cheap stuff had screw caps. Yeah, so did I. But this wasn't the cheap stuff. Mm -mm. That's right. I didn't think about it until you mentioned it, Bruce. Why are they using screw caps, Bruce? You usually have all the answers. I don't know. That's what made it so interesting. Well, let's ask the winemaker over there. He probably knows. Hi there. Hi. We've finished the tour, and uh, we have a question. Oh, well, I'll be happy to answer your question. Did you enjoy the tour? Oh, oh yes, great. we loved it. It was great. Uh, did you uh, taste all the wines? I did. I tried them all. <laughs> did you swallow? I did. I didn't. I did. <laughs> I'm a land man. I did too. That's okay. It's good to swallow. It's only the professionals that don't swallow. Now, uh, what was your question? Well, I noticed that uh, most of the wine had screw caps on it. I thought that was just for the cheap stuff. It used to be. Corks were a wine-making tradition, hmm. but it turns out that it's a lot easier, um, it, but it turns out that screw caps seal better and are a lot easier to use. Oh, hmm. I interesting. See. Well, I'm interesting. glad you got that out. but I like the traditional corks. I miss those days. A lot of good memories about those times. I met my wife back when we used corks. She was working as a cork soaker. A cork Ooh. soaker? Hmm. Yeah, and she was a good one. It was important to soak the cork before we used it. Yeah, she could, she could really soak a cork. Hmm. We fell in love and got married, but alas, she hasn't soaked a cork in years. Oh. Really? She quit soaking corks after you got married? That's too bad. <laughs> yeah, it is. I remember how good she was. I could just sit back. Can we stop flipping that thing? <laughs> I could just sit back and watch her soaking that cork. But you know, that's how it usually goes. Things change, and now it's all about screwing. Ah, uh, that's progress, I guess. Yeah, progress, sure, but there was a real art when we used, when we used corks. Uh, you had to pick the right cork, and then you had to just cut it just right. You know, the right size and all. I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. 
when it comes to corks, size matters. Oh. See, honey, I told you. Then you have to soak that cork. And I'll tell you, nothing feels quite as good as a well-soaked cork <laughs> sliding into a bottle of wine. So uh, any of you ever uh, soak a cork? I never soaked a cork in all my life. Um, but I think Neva has. What? No. <laughs> no. No. Well, OK. I did soak a cork when we went on that wine tasting tour in the limo, but I was really drunk that day, and I don't think I knew what I was doing. Oh, I think you did just great, huh? <laughs> So, uh, did you ever soak a cork? <laughs> Me? No. I, I'm no cork soaker. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a damn good winemaker. <laughs> and I had to be careful. I could make the best wine for years and might never get recognized for it. But you soak one cork, and they call you a cork soaker forever. So who does the cork soaking for you? Well, the best cork soakers are women. But, but there are some wineries up in Napa, you know, uh, <laughs> close to San Francisco, <laughs> with some guys that soak cork. I guess they do a good job. And I hear they love soaking corks. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Oh, this has been so interesting. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Come back again anytime. But right now I have to get back to the business of making wine. It seems like things keep changing in this business and, and I have to keep up. Hell, I don't care what the boss says. I think I'll stick to corks. And the wine was a nice age Cabernet and not too dry. So I put a cork right into the top and I added to my supply. I said, you look like a fine, outstanding red wine. I think you'll do. Then I took off my hat and said, imagine that. A cork is better than screw. Wines, wines, everywhere there's wines. Screw this, don't soak that wine, the new design. And the wine was a lovely little Chardonnay, yeah, oh so light. So I popped a cork right into the top. Hey, that sure feels right to pop a cork and to keep it fresh and to keep all the body in. If the boss were here, I'd tell him to his face, man, screwing's a sin. Wines, wines, everywhere there's wines. Corking up the bottle top, saving the line. Screw this, don't soak that. Why the new design? Oh, say, mister, can't you hear? You got to have a screw on cap to make it here. You can't soak, no, you can't cork. You ain't supposed to cork here. And the sign says you got to have a membership card to get inside. favorite long legs and soft bouquet but then they screwed around a cap at the end of the day and I really didn't have no say so I got me a cork and a soaker and I made up my own little mind I said I'm sorry sir for messing with this but I'm corking this here wine wines wines everywhere there's wines corking up the bottle top saving the line screw this don't soak that, why the new design? Wines, wines, 
everywhere there's wine. Corking up the bottle top, save another line. Screw this, don't so bad. Why the new design? Wines, wines, everywhere there's wine. Corking up the bottle top, save another line. Screw this, don't so bad. Why the new design?